Yes, it's four o'clock in the morning, and this is what happens when you just can't sleep like me. You see this uh, hole I've got up here, and the rest of the board that goes, the cap underneath that box that goes to the wall there, I've got to pull that cap off. a 2 by 8 and there's a 2 by 8 and then it's got this other 2 by 6 running in between there and then this big old chunk of wood that's about like a uh, 2 by 12 or something like that to splice two of them together and I have no idea why those beams why that extra wood is there so I'm gonna have to take apart the floor up there above that to see why They've got that wood in there. Where I've got to start digging. Uh, right there, where the tape measure is, is where the original, where I opened up the little square downstairs and that, and that capped beam. Somebody had cut into it originally, so I took it out and uh, drilled a hole through. And that's where that was. Now, where our post actually needs to be is right about there which is where that about well between the two is where that 2 by 12 was so I've got to dig out that space got my shovels there you can see I need a, a the big crowbar to get this wood out but uh, I gotta open this up and uh, find out what's going on with the lumber in there not forget safety. I've gotten too many chunks of wood in my eyes over the years, so I'm pretty much uh, convinced that goggles, even though it may be hard to see, are the way to go. <clears throat> I'm also going to adjust my saw depth to where it just cuts the wood this thickness, about three quarters of an inch, and no more. I'll set it about seven eighths to an inch. That's enough. Now, a good thing about carbide tooth blades is they'll go right through nails, man. It don't mean nothing. I'm going to take out these three right here. Now, this one has. Oh, well, yeah. two by eight beams and I'll point them out or I'll try, try to point them out see this is a two by eight right here 
and here's the other two two by eight. Now, why is this lumber in between? I haven't got a clue. It's got to have a plate. Well, no, that's not going to work. We're going to have to have uh, brackets on each side of this beam to hold the uh, the new beam that's going to be under the under everything. Okay, as you can see, I've opened this up a good deal more because. Uh, what we understood was wrong. These beams are in the middle of the joist, as you can see, on a horizontal level. Uh, in other words, that's a joist, that's a joist, that's a joist. And this big beam that you can see crossing from, from the first floor is a 2 by 12 And it's on the same level as the joist, so the beams, the, the new beam can't go on top of it. It's going to have to go on either side of it. And that just means redesigning the saddle. Uh, and it's not a problem. I've already figured out how to do it. So, uh, uh, but anyway, that's the surprise. It's a good thing I took it all apart. Here goes the train. Choo choo, about every hour. You know that does that all night long and it doesn't ever wake me up.